Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofunet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That March difficulty. Uh, today we're going to do a bit, something a bit different since uh, we hit level 18 in the last quest, now or never. And I have been wanting to upgrade my Griffin armor in a while now. So um, I already mentioned that I found one of the diagrams before we actually start this quest. And that diagram is actually right here in these burnt ruins. Uh, I can show you that on the map. It's east of Crow's Perch. So this is Crow's Perch and there's a actually even a, a waypoint over here. So it's right there in those destroyed ruins. There's a chest and you can open it to find the enhanced trousers diagram. So that's part one. On to the next one. We're gonna have to find the steel sword upgrade diagram using our Witcher senses. So I'm gonna head there and I'll see you there in a second. So the closest place I could get to the steel diagram, the steel sword diagram, is this refugee camp I uh, freed in between. And uh, well, before I forget, since we hit level 18, let's add another ability point. So aside from the ability point, uh, I also unlocked that last slot over there on the left side. And I put the coin explosion back there until we find another ability to add. Uh, but for now, let's upgrade that secondary Erden sign ability. There we go. And now, um, I could also already tell you a bit. I couldn't resist and I already made those uh, enhanced griffin trousers. So the trousers you're seeing on me right now are those enhanced griffin trousers. Uh, I'm not really sure what we'll find in here because I don't think I ever upgraded my armor when I uh, first went through the game. There seems to be a bandit camp over there. Yep, yeah, ouch. Thanks. Give me no choice. I'm gonna try and kill the archer with its own arrows. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, and you're mine. So go attack your mates. Let's kill this fellow. There we go. There we go, buddy. There goes his head. Okay. Clean that up. Pirate leader's notes. This is kind of a mini side quest in between here, but... I'm gonna check out those notes either way. There seem to be a lot more of those guys. You're gonna kill me? No, I don't think my mom ever uh, detested that she squirted me out. Words, boys, words. Only words. So, let's loot this place a bit. There's still someone in here. Is that so? Goodbye. And now we're right here by the chest, I presume. Diagram Griffin Steel Sword Enhanced. There we go. Now we only need to find the boots for this first part. I'm gonna try and put everything in one video so you don't have to wait for anything. So, the boots. I'll get the boots. But I first need to travel a bit, so see you in a second again. So the closest I could get was the Inn at the Crossroads. And then I 
travel north, that seems to be another wyvern. Let's try and shoot it down. Hello, good sir. There we go. Holy shit. This is a, a fork tail. It's another wyvern. Ooh, that's a problem. There we go. And down he goes. Forktail. I think I already fought a Forktail. Nothing really peculiar about it. It still hates fire just as much as the other flying reptiles. Um, so it should be around here somewhere. So we got the griffin sign here already. Might want to look around some. Let's check it out. Doesn't seem to be on this side. Oh, there we go. There we go. Enhanced Griffin Boots. And that's the part one quest. But we're gonna dive straight into part two, so give me a second. So there we go. Three more items we need to fetch. So I'm first gonna try and get the armor upgrade. So uh, see you there in a second. So, on this little island we have kind of a shipwreck here. And uh, there actually is a little quest here which I might do while we're here. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Because it's actually in its own area. So let's check this out. Hello Mr. Rock Troll. You mans! Here, Redania Camp Army! No cross! No, don't steal! Redanian army? Where are you hiding them? In... in here! Me! No see mans? Join me! King Ravodid army! Order got... guard boats is. Hmm... boats are in pretty bad shape. Me... guard boats, Red say? But no wood for to make a uh, fence. They're boats, I. So, me, fence, make a boat. Boats, guard boats. Well, that's smart. So, uh, this is a rock troll that thinks he's in the Redanian army. For uh, King Bravudit. Well, he means Radovid, but. Who recruited you? Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Crude? No crude. <laughs> soldier man, say charger man, wants boats. Peasanters, they steals peasanters' boats. That's the trolololo. Don't know. Think I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. What happened next? Charging man go. Soldier man drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Both. Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks. I help one army. Runner to runner. Holler, peasanters. Holler, soldier mans. Gentle. Move them apart. Gentle. But all down, soldier mans too. But order. 
Hand me what's boats. And what's I? Trollolo -lo soldier man now. Trollolo -lo just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. Heard you earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. How well, he know? had to eat. Good no waste. Peasant has good food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big stew. Always good. So yeah, he um, he joined the army. They told him to guard the boats with some soldiers. Um, but the soldiers stole those boats from peasants. The peasants came to attack the soldiers. And the troll naively tried to keep them apart, but accidentally killed them all. And then he ate them all. Okay, so I'm going to keep this guy alive because it's kind of funny what you can do next. So wartime rules. I guess I understand. Wartime rules. Man's soldier man too? Uh, no. Not really. Trollolo makes man's soldier man. Trollolo, chargey man. Say, green paint. And man, green paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? Paint! Paint! Red colory? White colory? City gods? No city go. Trollolo, what boats? So as you might remember, I bought already that uh, white and red paint in uh, Oxenford, so uh, got some paint for you. Just so happens I have some paint on me. Oh, oh, oh. And he gets really excited. Uh oh. Ooh. What's the matter? Has paid, but how? Don't know. Hmm, might be a problem. Man's how no. I order. Man's knows. I guess so now I it's do. our turn Depends to uh, try our hand Birdo on a bit of color. painting. Redania Birdo. Shields like. Okay then, I can try. Guess I can give it a shot. Got a brush? Beautiful. Look at that. Pretty bird Art. Think so? As long as you're happy with it. <laughs> man's good. No like other man's take juice. So now he's pretty okay with us. So uh, we completed the quest, the volunteer, in the meantime as well. And now we should find that diagram. And it should be in here. There you go. And I think he is really mad at you if you don't help him first before you take that, uh, that diagram. So there we go. Quest the volunteer completed in the meantime as well. And we have the enhanced griffin armor. So next, the gauntlets. I'm gonna travel there, so see you in a second again. Oh shit, okay. I spawned at this... Uh, waypoint and I got attacked by ghouls but I'm gonna try and ignore those because I need to go the other way anyway so byways was the closest marker I had That's it, Roach. so I hope this gets me close enough I think we passed here once yeah next to these ruins I promise I will explore those in one of my videos, but not for now, because we need to uh, find ourselves some upgrade diagrams. Two more to go, and then I'll craft the armor. And then we'll have to uh, look at that pretty result. Hello, Andregas. So we're in the swamp again, and there seems to be something on fire here. There's guarded treasure. So Gwen and a little save that might help. Holy shit! So we have a night raid as well. That's one guy.
might want to equip the moon dust bombs I have. Is that even blocks the copies? Okay, there she goes apparently. That is a lot of upgrade materials. Interesting. That was quite the battle for that one diagram. I hope that's that one diagram. I think it's down here. Um, there's a cave around here. Yeah. So clutter. Oh yeah, I already had that letter of the other guy as well. So first, so we had the pirate leader's notes. Nothing quite like war. The Redanians and Guardians are at each other's throats and no one play pays a whit of attention to us. We can rob, raid and kill till we get bored of it, which will never happen. Usually I never set ashore near populated places, but this time we had no choice. Our boat started taking on water after the last storm. We had to drag her onto dry land for some repairs. We were ready to fight for a fight when we stepped onto the beach, but no one even tried to chase us off. Sometimes one of the Baron's blowhards come to, to us, but taking care of them is no trouble. Since we're not in any particular hurry, I've decided to build us a new vessel instead of patching up the old dinghy. Why not? Best take advantage of the turmoil while it lasts. I hear there's a boatyard nearby. That'll do just fine. And while we wait for a new ship, I'll send men out to look for around for Queen Zuleika's famous treasure. If it's worth a tenth of what I hear, I've heard, we'll all be rich. Well, at least, I will. And then the soak letter that we found just now. Read close, mate. Lady Caroline's hanged herself. Tragic love affair, something like that. Some gallant gen stole her virtue and then split. Her belly started swelling and, well, tragic results. But enough about that, let's go to the meat of the matter. I helped prepare her for her funeral, and I'm telling you, the shite that they stuck in her coffin. More riches than in, Koviri, than in a Koviri vault. I'm telling you, you couldn't even see the body for the glare coming of all that silver and gold. So I'm thinking all those baubles won't be one prick's lick of good to our dearly departed lady in the afterlife, whereas you and I, why, we could put it to find use in the here and now. So perhaps we should lighten her coffin a bit. So as nothing goes to waste? Thing is, I can't go anywhere, but you, you're a free man, so grab a shovel and head out to the swamp graveyard, start digging where folk have laid out fresh flowers, and then we'll meet up and split everything fair and square. Half for you, half for me. Deal? Polly. Well, sorry Polly, but this guy doesn't look so good anymore. Um, There seems to be a couple of rocks in the way, which we can blast apart. And then we have the chest right here. So the gauntlets. Didn't I take them? I didn't take them, did I? There we go. Now the only thing that is left are the is the silver swords diagram. There's another chest in here with it. Well, a few nice things. A muscle crafted saddle if you hadn't won already. Um so the silver sword is the last thing we need. So I might as well check out this village if I can. Is there a marker over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that, that one we're going to use to get towards the silver sword diagram. So see you in a second. 
So this one is on the far east of the map. The closest thing I got was this uh, ancient oak that we had when we uh, freed that spirit from the tree. I'm gonna ignore those in Draga for now. Or actually try to ignore those in Draga. Although he seems intent on fighting me. Well then, I'll just put it out of his misery. Another heart. And an embryo for me! Yay! Let's continue down the road. And we should end up at the uh, diagram location. In this little gully, there seems to be a cave that added another marker for uh, us. Ghoul's nest. Great. Thanks for clearing that up, Geralt. So let's keep Igni handy, just in case we can uh, fight one of those bastards. There's probably another Griffin sign over here that I first need to check. There we go. Hmm. I want to look around some. There is blood on the floor. Something heavy was dragged through here. Oh, bodies. Another Witcher contract. Well, is this the same location then? Oh. There we go. I don't know what to expect right now. Well, we're combining this with a witcher contract, apparently. Clearly not an elf guardian soldier. Someone from the village nearby. Um, well, that will be for that quest, I presume, because the diagram is just right here. And that completes that. Um, I don't know, is there another... There is a sand trail over here. That leads to these corpses, and there seems to be ghouls over there, but I can't really reach those. So if I follow that scent the other way, it probably just leads to that stain. Well, I'm gonna keep that for when we uh, actually do that quest. So first I'm gonna head back to Oxenfurt and we'll craft the armor and the weapons over there. So see you guys in a second. So back at the lovely Oxenfurt Harbor, I'm gonna go to my favorite armorer and blacksmith to see if we can upgrade everything. So the trousers are already uh, enhanced, so I hope there's no problem in enhancing the rest. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. A very interesting one. Remember that gear you made for me? The, the one I'm currently wearing? I'd like to craft you to craft something for me. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. I do hope so. So, enhanced griffin boots, no problem at all. So let's do this. There we go. And then we have the enhanced griffin armor. We're missing monster feathers. Um I'm gonna see about that in a second, so the only thing we can do. Otherwise is over here gauntlets. The enhanced griffin gauntlets also needs leather scraps and powdered monster tissue. That are that should all be things that I can make. So we need two of those leather scraps. There we go. And then I think that powdered monster tissue I can make by um, dismantling. I should have a lot of harpy feathers and I think if I dismantle harpy feathers I get that powdered monster tissue. Oh, inspector disc dust can also be downgraded to monster tissue. Um, I'm gonna check if I don't have anything simple I can use for that. So that's a simple feather, and I should have harpy feathers around here somewhere here. There we go, harpy feathers. Turn those into monster feathers. 
and then I'll probably have to downgrade that uh, Spectre Dust to get the Powdered Monster Dust because this doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Nope. Let's go to the Spectre Dust. There we go. Powdered Monster Dust. Uh, I'm gonna start with two. I'm not really sure how many I needed. Uh, so go back to crafting. So the enhanced boots are done. The enhanced griffin armor can now be made. I even have a few extra monster feathers left. There we go. And then the enhanced gauntlets. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. I have enough right now. Just enough. See, look at that. Four by four. Enhanced griffin gauntlets. So they should already be equipped. Look at that. Spikes on the shoulders. A bit more metal on the chest part. So long. I'm going to show the rest out a bit as well. I think the gauntlets are a bit more intricate as well. Looks fine. Looks fine. And the boots. Can't really see the boots from here. Maybe check the inventory screen. There we go. Yeah, I don't think the boots look that much different right now. Probably a bit more intricate as well. But our armor has increased a lot. As you can see, the sign intensity is up by a few percentages. And that will only improve when we enhance it further. But before we can do that, we need to be level 26. So you know what to expect when we get to that. But first we need to enhance our swords as well. So let's head to the blacksmith down by the water. There we go. Ah, a customer. Uh, willing to craft something. Will you craft something for me? And so no boots, chest armor, all that is ridiculous. So the enhanced griffin sword, we need a monster tongue and a meteorite silver ingot. Two meteorite silver ingots, so that's that. And then the steel sword, we need ah, more powdered monster tissue and leather scraps. So we're going to create the meteorite ingots and the scraps right here. Not the leathers, leather scraps, yeah. Meteorite ingot and leather scraps. There we go, leather scraps and then the meteorite. Was it silver ingots? Mm. It probably was. Meteorite silver ingot, there we go. So that just needs to combine meteorite and silver. Easy peasy. So let's do that twice. And then we go back to the silver sword. Ah, we need the tongue and the monster tissue. Okay, let's go to dismantling. Um, Spectre dust, Spectre dust. There we go, Spectre dust. I probably, yeah, I'm gonna use the drowner tongue to get a monster tongue. And then the monster tissue, powdered monster tissue will come from here. There we go. So that should enable us to craft them now. Don't need all that. Enhanced Griffin Silver Sword. So plus five extra sign intensity, as you might have seen. And then the Griffin Steel Sword, the same, actually adds 10% because it didn't before. I oh, know it did, but I'm currently not wearing that uh, Griffin Steel Sword. So let's upgrade that. And we now have a complete enhanced griffin oh, well. set. I'm gonna equip the sword as well. Because as you can see, it has been boosted a lot. We also have another slot now. Look at that. And now we're complete. So two griffin swords and the entire enhanced griffin armor set. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. For anyone who had trouble getting that enhanced armor set and weapons, 
So, uh, excuse me, lady. I'm gonna take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel to enjoy more of my videos. So thank you guys again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!